the commissioner's approval rating, for lack of a better term. He hasn't been the most popular man from fans and players in recent years. You go back to Bounty Gate, Deflate Gate, and many other things. And you're in locker rooms now. I'm curious to know, is the perception of the commissioner changing? And if so, is the loosening of the touchdown celebration rules a reason for it? I don't. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I know how he's viewed in the locker room. So. Well, tell uh, me about the locker room. How's he being viewed in the locker room? Is that change? Is do you, do you notice that it's changing at all from maybe a year or two uh, years uh, ago when it was pre- at a pretty pretty low point considering Bounty Gate, Deflate Gate, and other things? You know, unfortunately, you do things, and that some of those things can't be undone, and that's just the unfortunate part about some of this. And and listen, you you. You, you, know, you, you side with a certain group, and that's the way you decided to go. He decided to be a commissioner that solely worked for the owners. But I, I think the, the myth that this commissioner is this, uh, again, this bipartisan sort of uh, figure is uh, outdated and, and, and ridiculous at this point. And I think the guys know it. I think the guys have seen too many things. I'm happy that there's been certain positive steps that have been taken. I'm glad that uh, we won't have as much of a no-fun league anymore. I still don't look at this and say, man, he did it for the players. Let's face it. The fans hated the policy. The networks hated the policy. Everybody hated the policy after the touchdown. So it was silly to be throwing flags and finding guys uh, for their creativity and for being happy. So I, I, I don't, I, there's no ill will against them. Again, I just look at it and say what's been done is done. And, and I know what side he works for. And, and people know what side I work for. And that's, that's the way it is.